Hello, welcome to Maxed Out. This is going to be about me starting a new channel, which is going to be Maxed Out Vlogs. And basically, I'm going to take you along for a ride, and it's going to be little snippets about my life and the gear that I'm going to be using, which I'm going to be talking about in just a second. And basically, it's just about interacting with you guys a little bit more and helping you out with certain little issues in life and making everyone smile. And making everyone happy and knowing that my life is just not raw. Well, involved just in maxed out, it involves other stuff. So you didn't know that I had another company, well actually a company called Blur Creative, which is to do with graphic design, photography, video production, and etc. 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 So that sort of thing is where I can add into my vlogs and I can show you what I do at work and what I do every day at work and where I go and what I do to like have fun and game and all that sort of stuff and also I'm going to be having a gaming channel as well so you can interact with you online as well and like play you at games my one of my favorite games is like uh, was it Street Fighter 5 4 and um, I do know what Street Fighter it is but I just can't remember what there's so many of them, you know. But anyway, so let's talk about the gear that I'm going to be using because this is all about GoPro as well because that's the gear I'm going to be using. So it's a Hero 4 Black Edition. I used to use it for my quadcopter, but I don't use my quadcopter that much. So I'm just going to use it for a vlogging sort of channel. And I really want to use it because it's a nice wide angle. You can see what's going on. It's like really clear. You can do really slow motion at 1080p, 120 frames per second, 4K at 30 frames per second. It's got Pro Tune where I can go in the dark a little bit. But I've been in contact with Manfrotto and I've got a box here which can unbox in front of you, but more about that later. So I've got an adapter here which is a 3.5mm jack. And as you can see, it's like a mini um, USB, not mini USB, a mini uh, connector. And it's got a 3.5mm jack where you can connect in like the microphone I'm using there which is a Rode microphone it's got 3.5mm jack or any professional sort of microphone you can put in there and I've got the rechargeable Hero 4 uh, battery as well because the 3 just doesn't work it just doesn't go in there I didn't know that I had this and I thought yeah I'll be alright and then I had the frame which is a Hero 3 frame I thought that would work in there and that didn't so I had to go out and buy some new stuff to start off this new YouTube uh, vlogging channel so I've got the frame this is for Hero 4 and Hero 3 so why can you do that with the previous assessor don't know then obviously got the Hero 4 battery pack and then I've got the Monfrotto um, compact 2 in 1 and it's got a 1 quarter inch thread there and 1 quarter inch thread at the top here as well and it comes with other accessories and then I can bend the camera to my own will and then obviously it stretches out and I can film stuff and I can hold it and vlog and it's nice and stable and it's very durable and I like it a lot. Then I wanted a case to put all my gear in. So I've gone for the smart case and uh, yeah, it's a like really solid hard case. So I can chuck it about and it won't get broken. It's got nice little zips and I'm not going to just open it in front of the camera just in case it drops out. But I've got my little house in there for my head uh, mount. Well, something just dropped out then, I don't know what that was. Oh, um, my um, battery pack thing on the side. Then I've got my Hero 4 Black Edition in there. I've uh, got my little clock to clean the screen. And I've got no batteries in there because I've got one batteries in here already. And I've got to take that out and put batteries in. And then in here, the reason that I'm actually talking about this as well is like, if you want to start vlogging, then you could go down my route or you can use the like other cameras with the flip um, screen I've got a 600D that I'm using here and that flips the screen as well but it's quite heavy and stuff and I thought the Hero would be so lighter and just better but the housing does block the microphone so this is why I've gone with the frame because it doesn't block the actual uh, microphone at all and it can connect to any housing and 3.1 uh, quarter inch thread and it's got like the battery pack you can open the door there and charge it and it's got the microphone thing and it's all really cool and I love it and then uh, I've got the battery 
um, by Sin, was it Signet? And this is a 60,000, 60,000? We're not even that far in the future yet. 6,000 milliamp battery, and it's got USB ports so I can plug in, charge my phone or charge my tablet, and charge the Hero 4 as well. And then obviously you've got that little connector there and I can just charge it and recharge this. And then it's got a little indicator there and it says it's on 99%, normally 100%. And uh, I can take that with me and it's like a very small little video production gear. So I love that. Now I've got all the cables and all the connectors. So there's my obviously very small Hero 4 cable that I normally get. And a little housing thing there. Not a little housing thing, but a little connector for the housing thing. And then this came with the Manfrotto and it bends at 90 degrees. Uh, spin it like that. So if I had it on here like that, the camera would be on the front here and then I can have the camera facing upwards if I wanted to. So it's just loads of little accessories, which I really like. Uh, yep, yeah, some more stuff there. And some more 3M sticky stuff for the car. So when I'm in the car, I can vlog in the car when I'm driving and not be too dangerous on the road, if you know what I mean. And um, I can't remember what this one's for. I think it's from a, I don't know. I'll have to look. This is uh, for the GoPro, but I don't know where it goes. It don't really go in my chest and don't think it will go in your head. I'm not too sure. I've got one that does go in your head though, which I've shown you. And then I just got more connectors. Yep, so loads of connectors. And obviously, with uh, the frame, uh, took this out the Hero 3, and uh, this has got a nice frame to cover up the lens so you don't get it scratched when you're transporting it and stuff. But yeah, I love it because um, I love the how good it is. It's so clear, and you've got the option of doing time lapse. 120 mil to 120 mil, 120 frames per second in 1080p. Um, and it's, you can have it super wide, you can like record in the dark, well not in the dark, but in darker places, more shadowy places and it will bring up the light. And I can also use my phone as well and get the GoPro active and I don't need the back plate on there which will rinse the battery more. So I can just use my phone and I can see what I'm filming on my phone. So this is the better sort of option that you've got rather than having a camera that you hold in your hand. Because I can look what I'm looking at here, but it's separate, I'm not using the battery from the Hero 4. I've got the camera here on my phone here, and I can record and make sure the sound's okay and everything like that just off my phone. And then obviously I've got the charger as well, so I can charge things. And this is not very expensive, this is like, 25 pound for a 6,000 milliamp battery and this could charge like my phone probably about three times so it's really cool that you're out and about and you can use that um, so I can look on here and film and stuff like that and see what I'm doing but you won't see this in the camera so I can just put it there I can see oh that's a quite a good shot with obviously holding the um, Manfrotto uh, 2 in 1 compact and I can see what I'm doing and then once I do that I can move the camera wherever I want to wherever I want to bend the rules a little bit so I can have a really light camera on my hand but I can also have this somewhere else so someone else could be filming this and I could be filming something else it is really cool but let's get to the unboxing of the Manfrotto and see if this is going to be really good, because the reason is I don't really know what's in the box, but I know it's Manfrotto, so hopefully it's the Hero 4, something I asked for, and I really hope it is. So I'm going to unbox it with you, and then you can uh, have a look and see if it's really good or anything like that. Well, we're going to test it anyway. There we have it. So Manfrotto sent me an off-road um, LED light. So if I want to do my vlogs or want to film in darker shadowy areas or do some products with uh, vlogging and stuff, at least this light is a very good build, very known company Manfrotto and it's going to work. Uh, I've already done an LED light, if you want to check out the description down below, there will be a link to the description down below to the other LED light that I've done a video on. But this should be really good because I use a lot of Manfrotto products and I think they're super cool. And this is really cool that you can get an LED light that is built for the Hero 4, Hero 3 and Hero 3 Plus is wicked. So this is called the Thrilled LED light and this is not 
not water resistant and I want to know if you can use it without housing so we're going to unbox it and uh, find out and put it on my Hero 4 that I've got here right so we've got the off-road Manfrotto box I'm going to do a little unboxing of it and the packaging is really nice See, it's got some instructions in here. The instructions are just really long. Excellent. You've got a nice quality bag here, black sort of uh, material, quite thick. Uh, let's see. Packaging is nice, and easy to open. None of this cutting the plastic open. So you've got a GoPro uh, accessory for the LED light. We've got a charger for the LED light, USB, and then the mini USB for the uh, charger. The same one that you can work with most Android devices. This is like plastic, but it's not. I guarantee it's very, very solid. It's got a Manfrotto logo there, and it's got a red thumb screw to match the Manfrotto red. Um, then we've got a, a big sort of thumb screw. I think this is like a big attachment that goes through here. And uh, yeah, this is solid and nice and clean aluminium as well. And then we've got the LED light as well. So let's talk about the features. So this little device has got 225 lumens. It's got a ratio of 60 degrees uh, beam angle. It's got a CRI ratio of 80%. It's got a built-in polymer battery that's built inside. Comes with a double uh, connector so you can charge via USB. It also comes with um, a one quarter thread connector so you can actually put this light and use a little tripod as well so Manfrotto thought of everything they, instead of like just using it for one thing they've, you can use it for quite a few things now other features right so this button is like a secret button so when I press this I'm gonna, I'm gonna just hold it down here press it once hold it down and the light comes on press it again it increases the intensity and press it one more time and you've got it on the highest brightness Press it down again, lower uh, intensity, medium, then really high. Hold it down and it's completely turned off. Now, you've got a green LED light there and I've got my power charger here and I'm gonna connect it for the double connector that's included in the box and you put it in like so, like this way actually. And you've got a green LED light that hopefully you'll be able to see and it indicates that it's charging and I'm guessing once it's fully charged and it will be off and if it's not if it's dying it will go red but yeah it's as simple as that the casing of this LED light is solid metal or aluminium it feels really solid it's got a little uh, logo Manfrotto there then obviously the power button there the one quarter inch thread at the bottom and then you've got three LED lights which are there and it's super light so what I'm going to do is assemble this now the right way so it should be quite fairly simple I'm using the one quarter inch thread screwing it in and then we get the attachment so if I take this attachment off the GoPro hang on a minute what am I doing oh yeah I need my GoPro don't I Right, so I take that off and I put it underneath. So I've got to bend it back like that. Put my little attachment on. It's quite tight. Got to line up the holes first. It's not even really lined up yet. Alright, there we go. So it's lined up. And then I just screw it on the mount and to get it straight. Alright. There we go. Oh wow, that is so simple. Right. So we've got the GoPro all connected up, it's got a left hand arm, it's got two thumb screws, the thumb screws you can lift 
on the bottom one and put the actual arm forward a little bit in just in case it's not fitting the GoPro properly or you can have it back a little bit you can use the top thumb screw and you can slightly adjust the light in if you're creating some sort like cool effects um, I've also got a one quarter thread that comes with the actual uh, Manfrotto package or LED light and then I just screw it on there and then I've got it on here and then I've got lighting if I'm going to be in a festival or something like that and I want to have some lighting so I can see what's going on it's going to be cool for that shadow areas or making like a little movie where you don't want to get a big camera into it you can use this or I can turn it around that way and then obviously face it out that way and yeah I've got the good thing about the LED light as well lowest setting uh, which is obviously the lowest intensity it lasts for uh, two hours then medium setting it lasts one hour and then obviously the next setting 35 minutes which is the highest setting and um, that's pretty cool for how small this little LED light is so all in all, this LED light comes with four bits and it just rigs, it's a bigger rig, a bigger rig for your GoPro, makes it more professional if you're going to do, or if you need to see some lighting, you don't have to carry external lights or anything like that, you've got a light that can attach to the actual frame, which is super, super cool. And then I've got it connected to a selfie uh, stick, monopod, and then you can connect it to your hat and have the light on there, and don't have to really worry about it because it connects to it properly, and you can connect it to... Um, what else can you, oh, tripod as well because it's got one quarter inch thread so it fits most um, industry standard stuff which is really really cool so I all hope you like this video this is the kit to get you started with obviously what I've got Hero 4 could be a Hero 3 could be a silver version any Hero sort of version not the what's the other one the essential not essentials uh, the really square one I don't know what you can do with that, but I know you can do loads of stuff with this. And even though, we, after I've logged on here, I could just strap this to my quadcopter and fly up and get some more shots if I really wanted to. And I've got an LED light as well. Well, LED light I don't think will fit on there, but I don't know. I haven't tested it, but I may test that in the future. If you want to know if I want to, if you want to know about it, then leave it in a comment down below, and I may test it for you, and then obviously do a video on that. Um, anyway, this is the end of the review. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already for more vloggy videos and obviously more stuff about helping YouTubers out and stuff like that. Thanks for watching.